Now at noon, the victims of the Connecticut plane crash are starting to be identified. We've just learned a retired police officer was one of the seven people killed. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Windsor Lock with the very latest. Christina? Well, Kate, parts of this airport are now back open for business, but behind me here, we can see on runway six, crews have surrounded the wreckage, and NTS investigators say they plan to be here for about a week. The mass of twisted metal still sits at the end of a de-icing tank where the World War II bomber plane crashed during an emergency landing Wednesday. An environmental crew and investigators on the airfield, and now we're hearing from the relatives of the seven people killed on board. This trip was on his bucket list to do. Rob Rydell's family says he spent his life chasing World War II history. He died doing something that was really dear to him. Also killed, former Vernon, Connecticut police captain Gary Mazzone. The Vernon chief says he spent over 42 years in law enforcement. He had a special relationship with Special Olympics Connecticut and is a member of their Hall of Fame. Investigators say 10 people were on board and three crew members were on the Boeing B-17 owned by the Collings Foundation in Stowe, Massachusetts. Investigators say the crew called the tower minutes after taking off from Bradley International Airport, then circled back around before the crash landing. There is a story unfolding um, about a, um, a very courageous individual that went towards the plane and assisted folks in getting out. There's also some stories that will unfold later on about folks that were on that plane that were able to open a hatch and assist others in leaving. Rob's time and suffering is over from this crash. Um, there's a lot of people out there that survived this crash and they're going to have a really tough recovery. Seven people were injured in this crash, including one person, an airport employee who was on the ground here when it happened. Now, the NTSB has scheduled another briefing for 4 p.m. this afternoon, and of course, we will be here with the update. Live in Windsor Locks, Connecticut, Christina Hager, WBC News.